Hello students, so let's try to go for one more problem from CSIRnet 2024 and today I am just going to solve a question from the quantum mechanics that is from the commutator and this question ID is 705026. So this is a commutator problem basically and the question is very simple, it is straightforward definition based. If A and B are Hermitian operators and C is anti-Hermitian operators, then we have to check the Hermitianity or anti-Hermitianity of two basically commutator. So one commutator is commutator of commutator AB and C and another is a commutator of commutator of AC and B. So we have to check whether they are basically Hermitian or, or anti-Hermitian. Only these four uh, in the four option, you have to check whether they are Hermitian or anti-Hermitian. So let's try to go for this particular problem. So this is a wonderful problem and in this type of problem you need to uh, just uh, focus on the basically your concept and the derivation part. So why it is very important that some derivation you have to do with yourself. So let's try to go for this one. So the first one is basically the first one is operator it is given a dagger is equal to a because it is Hermitian it is also given that b dagger is equal to b because it is also Hermitian and it is given c dagger is equal to minus c that is anti Hermitian and in all this particular concept if you have a two operator suppose a b and if you want to take the dagger of this one, so then this equal equivalent to B dagger, A dagger, this one. So you have to use this property and this property and then you can easily solve and you can easily conclude actually whether it is Hermitian or anti-Hermitian. So let's try to go for first one. So first one is all about the commutator of commutator A, B and C. We have to check whether they are Hermitian or anti-Hermitian. So what will happen if we will take the dagger of this one, then this will equivalent to C dagger and this will be basically A, B whole dagger. And now here we will go for this value is equal to C dagger and this value is equivalent to B dagger, A dagger. Now we have to put that C dagger is equal to minus C this value is equal to minus C and here B dagger is equal to B, A dagger is equal to A and this minus sign can be neglected if we will write something like this thing. So here we can write something like B, A and C because you also know this particular property that A, B is equal to minus B, A. So you have to use this property basically. Now again we have to just we can easily exchange this one when we will write in form of A and B then this value is equal to minus and that value is equal to commutator A, B and commutator with C and then we can have this particular conclusion A, B and C whole dagger is equal to minus we have A, B and C. So this is anti-Hermitian. So this one is anti-Hermitian. So let us try to go for next one. So for the next one, we can again go for the same logic. And the next one is all about, we have A, C, the commutator between A, C and they are going to commute, having commutator with B. So again, we will take the dagger part. When we will take the dagger part, then this value is equal to B dagger and what we have A C whole dagger and again we will open up this particular commutator then B dagger this value is equal to nothing but C dagger A dagger. Now we can easily open this one so B dagger is Hermitian so this will be B C dagger is anti-Hermitian so this will be minus C A dagger is Hermitian so that value is A. So this is equivalent to, so again we can go for C, A and B, something like this. And again we will 
exchange this one, if this can be written as something minus A, C, and B. So again, what we have, we have a A, B, and sorry, this is equivalent to basically, this is basically A, C, and commutator with B, dagger is equal to negative of A, C, and B. So yes, this is also anti-Hermitian. So option number two is the correct. Both are anti-Hermitian. So this is the correct option. So students, this is a straightforward question. If you know the definition and if you know the property, this is also important. So once you know the definition and property, you can easily solve this type of problem. Thank you.